Good morning, it's Monday and I'm back from Boston. I'm in the office, first one here. <laughs> the result! Uh, I'm very excited for the week. I'm off to Manchester tonight, meeting a bunch of you guys for some one-to-one -one time, uh, possibly even a group thing tomorrow night, I think that is. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've got a bunch of ideas up here from the week I've had and how I can start to implement them in, into the vlog and into your stuff. I've got a shit ton of ideas, so it's gonna be a brilliant week. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, first things first, tea, because it's good to be back on uh, tea drinking soil. Uh, and then I've got me meetings pretty much back to back. I've got a couple of one-to-one -one, um, Skypes. I've got a couple of um, sort of actual face-to-face -face meetings, all from the hashtag 60, uh, 60 min win uh, competitions. So busy day, lots to think about, lots to do. Good to be back. Let's talk social media anxiety. Now at the moment I'm walking down the street with a camera held aloft in my face. And I just need you to know something. I get complete social media anxiety. I can talk into a camera all day long, every day. But the idea of walking down the street doing this fills me with fear, which is why I really struggle with these daily vlogs and have done for a year. Everybody gets that. If you don't get that, you are a psychopath. And that's a dangerous thing. If you are, if you are that much of an ego and you believe in yourself that much that this isn't an issue for you, as it is, I'm walking past people now and that's terrifying, then you're a nutter. Um, but it can't stop me, it can't stop you either. But you need to know that it's completely normal because this, <laughs> at, as, at present, isn't normal. So I need to do a video on that. I kind of am, but I need to do a video on this because it's a big subject, it crops up quite a lot. But you need to know that you're not alone with that. This feels weird. Skype's done, meeting's done, met loads of great musicians, I've got loads of ideas for some new videos. I'm feeling very inspired at the moment. Um, it's half past six, about to go to uh, Manchester, which will take about four, four and a half hours. Should get, should get there about 11 o'clock, just in time. Do a little bit of work, uh, catch up with emails, messages on Facebook, etc. talk to you guys. And then tomorrow, me and a bunch of you one-to-one, -one, very excited. We'll keep you posted. Keep you posted on this trip too. So guys, midnight in Manchester, just checked into the hotel, we've had a bit of food and time for bed. Tomorrow's a big day, gonna meet loads of you guys, I'm really, really excited, chat about your careers and I'm gonna film a load of it so hopefully I can push some of that content out and hopefully some more content for you guys to be able to, to take in and help you. Um, so I think it's gonna be a really good couple of days, two days in Manchester, loads and loads of one-to-one -one meetings, a Q&A session tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, very much looking forward to it. But tonight, sleep time, you have a good sleep, See you tomorrow. Let's talk about investment. Now, don't switch off because this is actually very important and it does absolutely apply to a musician. More so than most, in fact. When I travel by plane or train or automobile, um, or when I stay in hotels, I try and do it as cheap as possible. And there is a reason for that. I know it sounds really obvious, why wouldn't you do that? But as a business grows and as you start to make more money, you want to travel business class. There is a temptation to stay in more swanky hotels. However, I see it as a liability versus an asset. Why spend 300 quid on a hotel when I can spend 50 quid on a hotel and 250 quid then becomes available for me to spend on Facebook advertising or, or, or some kind of piece of gear that I might need to, to, in, to improve my vlogs. I'd rather spend the money on things that count. And I see a lot of musicians that don't. I see a lot of musicians that are just bit, a bit frivolous. And I think this comes down to sacrifice. If you can take these things down, the, the, the liabilities down, and think of them as assets, if you can actually sacrifice so that you can then spend that money on more important things, you will win. Because someone asked me yesterday, how much should I spend on my Facebook advertising and my boosts? And I said, as much as you possibly can. And that means if you can save an extra 100 quid somehow, spend that. If you can save 200 quid somehow, spend that. If you can save 300 quid, spend that. It is more important for you to spend your money on building your career, building your brand and getting your name out there than it is for you to have a slightly swankier hotel room. We're off to the venue from the hotel. 
feel like I've laid down. Steep of marshmallow man. A few inches later. This is where we are today. Manchester Trough. Hey guys, so we're in the trough in Manchester. Very excited for today. We're going to meet a bunch of you guys, do some one-to-one -one chats about your career, where you want to take it. But uh, while we wait, I'm just working on some uh, some messages which have come through. And something I think we need to talk about, I think this affects quite a lot of people, is um, when you've got too much to think about, there's too many things to think about, and you don't know where to start, it really, it really cripples you. Um, and it's very difficult to move forward. I think that I'm seeing that quite a lot where people uh, are overwhelmed by the amount of things that they've got to do and therefore they're not really moving forward. They're just going, I've got so much to do, I've got so much to do. And it's very similar. If you, if you say to a musician, you've got a hundred songs to learn by Thursday, you just don't know where to start. It's just too hard. And so we need to, when that happens, you need to stop. You need to do a brain dump, you need to write down all the things that you need to think about. You need to prioritize and you need to take away 50, 60, 70% of the shit, just throw it away and just prioritize the most important things. Just picking two or three things to think about. Otherwise, you are gonna be hampered and crippled and you're not gonna be able to move forward. And I'm seeing too many people who are panicking because they've got too much to think about. So if that's you, if you are worried because you've just got so much on your brain, so many things to do, and you're thinking, I'm working on this 24 seven, then you need to stop, take a bit of a break and just prioritize the most important things. Hello! Hey! How's it going? You alright man? Very good, how are you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Yeah, very good, very That's good. Right. Oh. good. Hi, come on in! How's it going? Damien, yeah. come on in, grab some seats, come some seats. We're Hi, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Edron Dagger, yeah. I wear your, wear your t-shirts. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Very good. I've said this quite a lot today, but I watch um, Casey Neistat's videos. Do you know that? He's like, a, he's like a vlogger, he's amazing. So Casey Neistat basically took the day-to-day -day vlogging and he makes basically feature films every single day. The, we all know when it comes to sort of writing music, arranging music, recording music and releasing music we know that that is a hell of a lot of work but we don't give a shit like Casey Neistat will release a video and I'll just watch it and I'm like oh he's a fucking genius he's an absolute genius he's just made an absolutely amazing piece of work and it's taken him 12 hours worth of filming and editing and then putting it out the next day I'm like yeah cool well I want another one yeah, yeah, yeah. and I want it for free <laughs> like I don't want everything and he's like, oh, for fuck's sake, I worked all day yesterday to give you that one thing. And I'm like, I know, I know, I really appreciate it. I get it, it's really, really hard. I also don't give a shit, I want another one. And so that's the age that we're in. So what we've got to do is we know that when you release your track, it's going to peak because everyone's going to go, oh, I really love this because I love your band, I love what you do. The problem is, is even a month, even though for us, we're like, I mean, putting music out every month, that's pretty fast. But from a consumer's point of view, we're like, no, 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 tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, which we can't do. It's physically impossible, really. Although if you could, that would be the winning formula just to keep putting it out. And so with that month, that's such a great strategy because you have got a month. But then we have to think, so what is it that we are gonna do every single day or every other day that's gonna glue it together so that instead of going up, and then the next day when you go, cool, what else have you got? And there's nothing, we have to go, well, I've got to keep it there, keep the momentum flowing a little bit. Right. Picture. Yes, yes, yes. Picture. That was amazing. In fact, that was one of, out of the last year, was one of my favorite days of, of doing this. Just getting to do one-to-ones, getting to meet people, getting to talk to people, that's what's all about. Morning, it's day two in Manchester and very excited. Yesterday was amazing. We met loads of great people, talked about loads of good career stuff, everything from sessiony stuff to band stuff to, uh, to promotions company. Very excited. We are now set for day two, 
Sarah's there, she's given me some sterling advice for the day, which is make sure you're in focus. So, <laughs> we're waiting for some tea. We've got t-shirts. It's gonna be a fucking great day. This is, this is Ollie. Hello. Um, and this is really interesting, so I don't know if you can see this. So, this is Ollie's page. I'm hard to see this. So, Ollie has a thing called Story Sessions in Manchester. Uh, and bands and artists actually go and he'll do a, a video and a recording, which is a bit like, there's a few other things, a balcony TV style thing. This is very, very cool. So, bands, artists, this is the type of thing you need to jump on this because this is an amazing, amazing opportunity. And we've just had a really, really good chat. And I will try and link Ollie's stuff into this video. Um, but effectively, go on YouTube, storage sessions, you need to drop him a line. If you need to travel, you need to travel because this is a very, very good opportunity. Eventually, this will blow up and he will get a lot of bands and he'll just have lists and lists and lists of bands. This is early days and this is a good thing for you to do. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Uh, day two complete. Do you know what? This has been an amazing thing. I need to do this a lot more. I need to meet a lot more of you. I need to do I need to do a tour of the country where I can just come and sit for a day and do these one-to-one -one meetings because it's so inspirational talking to you guys. It's amazing what I learned from doing it of, of, of the issues that you guys are facing and the detail in it that you're facing. So I'm not just talking about an overall strategy, but I'm talking about individual strategies. Everyone's got, everyone's got skills, everyone's got different issues that they're, they're facing, um, different concerns. And when I actually sit down with you guys on a one-to-one -one basis, that's the gold right there. That's the bit I like doing the most. So anyways, amazing day. Big thanks to Trough in Manchester. I definitely need to come back. So if you missed that this time, I need to come back in another, maybe in January, just after Christmas. Maybe I'll come back and do another couple of days. If you fancy meeting up, having a cup of tea, we'll do that. If you want me to come to your city, then all I need to do is I need 10, 15 musicians who want to do it, and I'm up for it. If you want me to come to Bristol, or I'll find a city that's close and we'll do that. Just get in touch. Uh, we're gonna go back to Brighton. Um, but thanks to everyone who came down and hopefully you'll see the results of it over the next couple of weeks. So, brilliant day. And a big thanks to Sarah, who stuck out the whole two days filming everything. Back to Brighton. Uh, we'll, we might do a bit of vlogging in the car, but if I don't, we'll see you guys soon.